A long time ago, in a galaxy not so far away, Kevin Lynch crafted some amazing Star Wars theme park concepts. With his approval, Benny will be bringing this idea to life in Theme Park Tycoon 2. Welcome to this brand new original series, Building Force World. and gentlemen welcome back to a brand new video today this is the first episode of building force world which i am <laughs> i cannot express my excitement for this honestly it is the start of a beautiful day in what is going to be force world at some point and um, right now it is completely empty still but first let me kind of explain to you what this is going to be all about a very good while ago kevin lynch made these concepts they are basically just fully star wars themed uh, theme parks when i saw these i was like this i mean how cool would it be to build something like this so long story short i reached out asked if i could adapt it and luckily he said yes very nice dude we kind of spoke about some ideas and whatnot basically this is going to be my version of force world it's not going to be a recreation it's more going to be an adaptation i would say i'll take some ideas but maybe go my own way in others i do want to give a huge shout out first to kevin he makes some awesome stuff actually a very very talented fellow digital artist and graphic designer you can check out his socials and website down below but then now let's get into this as you can see the plot is freaking massive the size increased just recently so um there's more room for us to build some epic stuff let me first actually paint all of this dry grass because this is bothering me a lot as you expected a theme park starts at the entrance so let us begin with the entrance now i do like the original entrance for force build i may take some elements from that but i do think i'll freestyle this a little bit too to begin i do want to have that main kind of area at the front so let's start with a bunch of bath i also do love the fountain we're definitely gonna do that too so let's kind of make a circle indicating where it's gonna be and i think right about here is actually not so bad then the walkway through is gonna be pretty wide about five i'd say and then that is gonna be the main street uh, that's a problem for later though by the way i can smell you wondering can i get that shirt yes you can for only 16 robux it is completely yours so make sure to check the link down below and get one for yourself first i'm going to make a wall that i can reuse a few times over over. Why put in much effort if you can just be lazy once again? And if you hadn't noticed yet, this of course is in the Coruscant kind of style. Then on the side right here, let's make some of these um, control panels. Always nice and Star Wars-y. And painting some of the details. Ooh, now that is actually quite nice. So let's fill up the center of that, I suppose. And then in the center here, there's going to be a spot where you can get your tickets, I guess. Then also a little computer to actually print the tickets. Then now I can simply grab this like that. And then the whole thing another time Ooh. see that looks quite lovely and i think a door segment would also be quite useful in the future and if my calculations are correct there you go dude that actually looks really good i already really like this look and i think we can even do that Ooh. for some lovely interior detail already. Let's also put in some plain walls like this to kind of finish the entire structure all around. The sides of this building are probably going to be covered with uh, landscaping, so I won't put too much effort in that. This right here is going to be a merch shop, I think. It's a pretty cool place for it. And then you can enter it from both outside the park and from inside the park. Super duper dope. Oh, hey, look. There's a little shit behind the counter. Just kidding, Josh. Let's go ahead and put a door in here so the person uh, inside can actually leave. <laughs> Potentially, sort of, kind of. And the same thing in here, by the way, to make sure it looks a bit nicer from the outside. There you go. I didn't even really want to focus on the interior today, but I guess uh, we are, so oh well. Let's put a nice floor in here. Um, for now, I'll just do this, but later we have to make this something nice. Now that is a pretty solid start. By the way, the ground here has been bothering me a lot because this looks very flat and boring. Maybe cobblestone like this. Maybe a bit basic, but uh, it simply works. I quite like this, actually. And let's add some of these facade pieces. You know the drill, just some nice edges and thingies. And some of this stuff. Look at how smooth that is. That actually turned out great, what the heck. And then, just the same way I did earlier, I can copy this to the next one. Very, very satisfying. This is less than ideal, however. Are you kidding me? Six and a half hours later. I actually don't get it. I don't get why this isn't possible. Like there's not even so much here. Oh my God, what the hell? I have some fantastic friends, don't I? <laughs> they really just made an effort 
to look like that. <laughs> Star Wars, he said. I fit straight in. <laughs> sure. Almost. I also built these kind of full elements to finish this off. Here you go. This is starting to look like a seriously nice... Stop jumping around! Like a seriously nice entrance bit. Of course, on top of this, there's gonna be the very high buildings, but for now, uh, this is pretty cool. I must say, all of this labor has made me a tad thirsty, so let me just get a... Before moving on, if you want to support this channel just an extra little bit, consider using my star code BENJI on your next Robux purchase. This way I get a small commission from Roblox at no extra cost to you. I'd highly appreciate it, so now let's continue the build. In the center here, I'm going to build the actual tiny gates, ones that you need to pass and scan your ticket in order to actually enter. I'm going to make a simple doorway type of structure with a light in the center like this, which once you pass it will turn green. I'm going to make a system for that. Underneath here, I will put a proximity sensor, which I can make very very small like this kind of and then here I can add the actual light so once I hit this it goes on there you go then let's see we're gonna put this on pulse it has to be green like I just said and if I put this back on one it should blink twice there you go that's exactly what I need this type of stuff is why this park is gonna be next level and way better than movie park this is truly gonna be something to behold I hope. <laughs> so then this I have to do three times, I guess. And now we have three lovely thingies that all do the same thing once you pass. Very cool. Right in front of that, however, we still do need those actual gates I was supposed to make, but I got sidetracked once again. And then here, one, two, and three are those little stick thingies. All that needs is a nice floor like this. Let's we'll just copy this one, I guess. There you go. By the way, we may as well just make these stalls for employees to sit in, letting people through, that sort of stuff. And a roof over them, and then they should be pretty much done. And even the tiny little devices you can kind of scan your tickets on to open the little gates. And for those, we need one, two, three. Okay, well, that's pretty good. <laughs> Then in the original, there's a giant gate type element. Mine may or may not end up looking a bit different, but I guess we'll just see. I'll start with the kind of rails on the side. And really, it's just using a bunch of these vertical primitives. And to that, I will add some details like the following to kind of just spice it up, I guess. Then now I have to select this entire thing so we can copy it both above and on the other side. Here you go. Dude, that looks badass. By the way, super quick thing in between. Let's add some lights here because otherwise it's just very dark and grim and boring. Let's make these kind of yellowish like this. Or maybe be blue instead. Yes. Dude, that actually looks amazing. I can't believe I didn't come up with that sooner. Now, let's get to work on the actual sign for the entrance, the Force World title. Let's begin with a very basic, nice shape, like this bit higher, maybe, like so. We'll add once again a bunch of edges and nice details to it. I do think we need that same kind of curve on the top that looks pretty cool. Actually, it seems this is going to be a pretty accurate representation, I think. And I'm not even going to lie, I kind of like the bronze effect. I guess we can just try this and see what happens. This kind of stuff works really well if you add the right kind of edges and bevels to it like this. Oh, and we can even add some of these guys. Look at that. I love it. Then we move this to the other side as well. And then I think we have a pretty cool looking thing right there. Then now the moment of truth. I have no idea if this will look nice at all, but I guess we'll just have to try and see. Let's put an image panel right here. Enable transparency, of course. And then all we have to do is actually add the forest world. Uh oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bit lower. There you- Oh, this is looking sick. Wait, so let's add the stroke as well. Here we go. Okay. And I grab it and I put it right behind it, a few layers back to hopefully kind of make it look a dead 3D. Dude, that is sick. That looks so much better than I anticipated. What the heck? Now, I do have this pretty wild idea, which I'm not sure is realistic, but we can try nonetheless. What if I tried extruding this text using primitives? I tried this before on a pretty small sign, but this one's quite big, so I'll just try again. This is going to be a lot of work isn't it? <laughs> the question is, will it be worth it? I guess we'll have to see and find out. I'll just go ahead and try the first section and then I'll be right back with you. A few moments later. Well, I did manage to put on these uh, corner pieces. This already took pretty long, but it does look quite lovely, doesn't it? I'll just try a bit more and see how it goes. Day two. Okay, so yes, it's a lot of work, but dude, look at that. I absolutely love that. That is so cool. I have to finish this now. 
There's no way I'm not gonna finish this. Day three. This is actually taking forever. Day four. Now look at that. And tell me that is not INCREDIBLY epic. <laughs> this may have been a ton of work, and I may have almost lost my sanity over it, but at least it looks dope as hell. Here you go, then we just have to kind of put it in here somehow. Just... Are you kidding me? Well, I suppose we can just get rid of these and hope that works. I did not just put in this much effort. Oh, yes. Yes. <gasps> oh, that is clean. That is actually dope. Oh, my God. <sighs> well, that is looking fantastic, I think. Now, let's add some signs here, because obviously we do need it to be clear that this is a ticket stall. Um, Let's open up Photoshop. Powering up Photoshop. I have a font called Orbesh, which hopefully sort of translates stuff into the Star Wars language. This isn't 100% accurate, it's just kind of an indication of what it would look like. I feel like you could translate it technically, but it's not 100% um, correct. For now, it is absolutely fine. Let's find a secondary font. We'll make one with tickets like this and a second with info, which looks like that, I, I guess. <laughs> and then finally, for this window, I want to have some holographic uh, letters as well. Let's say entry prime. We can do stuff like one person larger than 140. Um, the entry cost, I guess, is going to be 51.99 because why not? And then for small people, it's going to be 41. <laughs> and there's also going to be parking, which hopefully we don't have to actually build, but we, you never know. And that is going to be... 899. Very nice. I like it. Ooh, and we also need like an annual pass, which will be 229.99. Okay, well then we have to save that and put it inside the game. Starting with the first one right about there. Let's put in our beautiful image and Oh, that fits just Perfectly. It's almost as if I actually measured it. Could you believe it? <laughs> and then here, I'm actually way more curious to these guys because I did just make that 50% opacity. I don't think that actually works, but we'll see. Oh, it's a bit vague. Let me actually save that again with a bit more opacity to it. Same thing all over again. Yes, that's better. I like that better. And then finally that one. There you go, needs the information one. And then that is, that looks so good. That finishes the whole thing. Dude, I'm so excited for this. What the hell? <laughs> then now, very quick, I do want a roof over these areas right here. Obviously, that seems nice. <laughs> and luckily from above, this doesn't have to look nice at all because this will all be covered with buildings that look kind of like this because this is still based on Coruscant. And a roof in there. Awesome. Same thing here, except this is just the ticket stall itself. Here you go. Nice and closed up. And then now, as you can see, that is looking a lot better. I like it. Well, guys, I think this is a great start. I love the logo. I cannot get over how good that looks. The end of the day is near in Force World. For today, I think we have done more than enough. If you are excited for this series, this brand new thing, make sure to let me know down below. This whole project is giving me an amount of joy that I just cannot explain. Besides being a ginormous Star Wars fan, just working on this is so much fun. Then another shout out to Kevin Lynch for being the creator of this insane idea, these concepts. I'm very grateful I can actually recreate those. So uh, yeah, then I guess for today, that's it. If you liked this video, make very sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single video, and then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Force World.